Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the bad image error pop-up you might be receiving on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we want to do is head over to the Start menu and you want to open it up by clicking on the Start button once. And once the Start menu is open, you want to type in Reg Edit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match that comes up should say Reg Edit. You want to right click on it and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select Yes. So now that we're in the registry editor, our view should appear to be something similar to this. Now on the left side, there should be something that says H key local machine. You want to expand this view by either double clicking on the H key local machine folder or left clicking on the little arrow next to it, whichever you prefer. Once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing for the software folder. Now I'm going to scroll down until we get to Microsoft right here. I'm going to expand that one as well. And now I'm going to go down to Windows NT. Should be near the bottom of this list depending on the alphabetized version if it's ascending or descending for your view. So I'm going to find the Windows NT folder here. Double click on it again. And then there should be something that says current version right underneath. And you want to expand this one as well. And now you want to go down to the Windows folder right here. On the right side, there should be something that says app INIT underscore DLLS. You want to double click on it. If there is any value data in here, you want to delete it. So just highlight over it and press the backspace key or hit the delete key on your keyboard. So you want to basically have nothing in the value data once you are done here. And then once you have ensured there's nothing in this box right here or in this field, you want to click on OK. You can close out of the registry editor at this time and I'd recommend restarting your computer and the error pop-up should have gone away at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.